Hey guys, in today's video, we're checking out a really cool app that can isolate and extract vocals or instrumental stems from any song. This is the Moses app. I think I'm saying that right. Really cool app, and you can do stuff like this. It's been a long day. It's been Pretty cool how well that it actually works and you're able to separate and isolate five different parts with this with vocals drums bass and then keys and other most of the other apps that i've looked at that do this only give you four options they don't give you keys and others as a separation and guess what this app works on apple and android i did a review recently about an app that did something similar and it only worked on apple and the uh, android users definitely filled up my comment section on that this one works on apple and android so it's worth checking out so i'm going to go over a rundown of how this app works and see if it's something you might be interested in but before we get started i post videos like this all the time stuff about music tech music gear app reviews midi programming wireless in your monitors stuff like that if you're interested in seeing more videos like this in the future don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to ring the bell. All right, let's check out this app. So it's really easy. You just push this plus symbol and you can do from, from your library. So you can do a song that's on your, in my case, I'm using an iPad or from my files folder directly. What's really cool is you can import it from a URL actually. So if I wanted to go, it's like YouTube and then pull up like a Katy Perry song or something. So I hit share, copy the address. And actually it pasted that without me even having to do it. You can hit process media and it starts processing it, and you get your choice. Do you want a two-track separation, a four-track separation, or a five-track separation? That five-track separation is only available with premium. It's not available with the free version, but I'm using premium, so I'm gonna do that. And it does give you this option of preserve the high frequencies above 11 kilohertz. You can read you know, what it says on the screen right now. It gives you the option of that. Sometimes it might make for better separation, but I usually leave that off. Hit submit, it starts uploading and separating. But you can see that I've already done it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and remove that. So I'm gonna be mostly using my old band or my current band's music to hopefully avoid a copyright strike. So what you can do, you have these five different categories up here, vocals, drums, bass, keys, and other. And you can start just changing you know, the volume of it, or you can just mute it here on the left. So no drums, just drums, just drums and vocals, however you want to do that. Really cool, really easy to use, and it makes a lot of sense. Um, the guitar, so let's get to like my guitar solo. With everything. Guitar. There's a pretty good job of figuring all that out. It's definitely really impressive. Something else you can do down here in the bottom right, you push this button, you can change the pitch by semitone. Which is really convenient for someone like me who's a very low singer. So I have to change the keys of songs all the time so I can do like practice tracks and stuff like that and I sing along with it in the car so I can it's really helpful to have that something else that's really cool down here in the bottom left it has this metronome setting you can turn it on and it figures out the metronome you can change the volume and you can pan it left or right you can pan it I just said that backwards but you know what I mean and turn it off you can also adjust the playback speed of the song. So that can be useful for figuring out something that's a little too fast or too complicated. You can slow it down and try to figure out how it goes. Really cool. And it, so far, every, every song that I've tried it with, it figured out the tempo. It has no problems with it. So props to them for that. In the upper right here, you have the settings. And this is where you can go to export the song. So you can either export just individual parts. So if I just want to export other or just 
the keys and bass or whatever, I can do that. So you can export individual tracks or export the entire mix. So if you want to remix it with vocals here, drums here, bass here, so on and so forth, you can export it that way. Or you can do export individual tracks. It exports and gives you the option to send it by email or airdrop or just export it to your files and stuff like that. Really cool, really easy to use. Something else that's really cool, if you see up here in the upper part of the screen, gives you the chords. It's not always exactly right. That wasn't quite right. But th those are that's pretty close actually to what the chords are. Super impressive that it's able to do all of this in just one app and it looks really nice as well. Um, also in the settings, you do have a count in feature. I never really do that, but if you want do clicks before the playback starts, you can trim the song. So you can set start and end times if you're focusing on a specific part of a song. You can turn off the display chords and then you can have the song play on repeat or not. So something that's really cool. So this is my current band or my current project. The keys, the keys feature, I found that it does a good job separating when it's actual keyboards. So this song. Some people, they are too nice. So this is like a story concept album so there's story and music and singing and stuff like that i'll post links down below shameless promotion but i'm going to just mute the vocals for now so that's the keys and then here's the guitar it's it's picking up kind of too much of the high end you put them both together so here's the whole track It a little bit. And they should be thanking me. It does a pretty good job picking up that marimba and piano part, but it picks up part of the guitar as well. Here's just other everything else. So it does a pretty decent job with the separation. Again, just the fact that it has that feature is different than any other app that I've seen. Most of them, they just give you either two vocals and instrumentals, or they just give you four vocals, drums, bass, and keys, or other, I mean, which is just everything else. Here's a part of the song coming up where it's just a saxophone solo, so it figures out a good job to take that part out. I mean, that sounds like the saxophone mix. It's pretty impressive. And then we have a vocal harmony part. Just vocals. No vocals. So, you know, you can see it doesn't capture it perfectly. I don't think any artificial intelligence, you know, separation app will get it perfectly. You can hear kind of the art, it, like when it tries to suck out the vocals, it takes out some of the frequencies. But man, that, that does a really good job of it. And I'm, I'm definitely really impressed with it. So I'm trying to avoid a copyright strike, but everyone knows this song. Right? You know that one. You would think that when I mute the keys, that it would mute that riff. But it doesn't. It's hidden in other. So now it's gone. Now it's back. So it's figuring it's figuring out like the synth and placing it as other instead of as a keyboard. So that's something I've noticed. But again, it does a good job of fault. There's so many things you can do with this. You can learn the chords. You can change the key, especially for a song like that. That's really high. Set the metronome and then export the stems. Really cool, really simple and easy to use app. So as far as the pricing of it, uh, they do have a free version. It gets you quite a bit of stuff. It doesn't get you the five track separation, it only gives you the four. Premium version is $4 a month or $40 a year, which is a pretty good deal for sure. So in the free version, you get five uploads a month. You only get five minutes maximum per file. It's stored on there for three days. You only get MP3s. You don't get all five separations. You only get two or four, stuff like that. With the premium one, you get unlimited uploads, 20 minute duration per file. Files are stored on there forever. You get waves or MP3s, all instrument separations. It gets put into the queue faster for processing. And you get a couple more advanced settings, which is pretty cool. Something I just noticed on here, it says the AI mastering, they're doing that in beta. I mean, you get unlimited uploads of that. That's really cool. I didn't know that they did that, actually. I just saw that. I did do a video about AI mastering software, which worked really well. So it's actually really cool that they include that in here. I'll have to come back and check that when it's no longer beta. 
beta anymore. Hope this helped you guys out. If you guys liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button. Hitting the like button does a lot to help out the YouTube algorithm. Recommend my video and my channel to more people, so I would appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future. I do videos about, you know, gear reviews and apps and stuff for musicians all the time. So if you're interested in seeing more videos like that in the future, don't forget to subscribe. Ring the bell if you want the notifications when I put out new videos. Check out my playlist of some of my other gear reviews that I've done, either gears or apps and stuff like that. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you next time.